Thank you, Lord. Pastor Zaleh Patricia, we want to welcome you to New Beginnings Church of the Big Bend, a church you can call home where we honor God, love families, serve others, and we pursue excellence. And we have passion for God and passion for souls. Something that you need to have also. Have a passion for God and have a passion for souls. Amen. Each and every day. Bienvenidos a la iglesia de nuevo comienzo. We want to welcome all our NBC family. Woo! All our visitors and all of you joining us by audio and video. Amen. So praise God. We're going to be talking about going out to the world for Jesus. Amen. Woo! Man, that sounds good. But each and every one of us can do this because the Bible says you can do all things through Christ. So I am going to go like my world for Jesus. Amen. So praise God. I'm so excited. I forgot. Grab your swords. Grab your swords. By uh, the soldier of God. Amen. Warrior of God. Yes. Not warrior, but warrior of God. Amen. Yes. And let's make this declaration together. Amen. This is my Bible. I am what it says I am. I have what it says I have. I can do what it says I can do today. I'll be taught the word of God. I boldly confess. My mind is alert. My spirit is receptive. And I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. Woo, hallelujah. Woo, I got something. I am going to be taught the word of God. You know what? Each and every day, get in the word. Study the word. Mature in the word. Amen. We need to grow in the things of God. Amen. Otherwise, Maybe Christian is no match to a full-time devil, amen? Yes, so we need the Word, and we fight a spiritual battle each and every day. And if you're not in the Word and confessing the Word and taking authority, you're going to be defeated. And you, the worst thing is a defeated believer. Mm. You don't want to be that, amen? We get the Word in us, but we got to speak the Word and get it out. Confess the Word, amen? Woo, hallelujah! Just a, a new thing here. It says, uh, Lord's not finished with you. Is that news for you? You need to know this. He's not finished with you. Man, some of us, he, we haven't even started yet. Yes, We're still yes. running instead of confessing him as your Lord and Savior. Amen. He's got great plans for you. None of them include defeat. Yes, yes. Amen. God is not on the, on the losing side. He's on the winning side. So why not join the winning side? Amen. Amen. But you have a part. And nobody's going to do your part for you. I'd hate to go and stand before him one day and say, I, I, I couldn't do my part. Mm. He says, the Bible don't say, I can't do anything through Christ. It says, I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. Talking about me, amen. That's your walk. you got to walk your walk and talk yes. your talk, amen. Because yes. uh, the world's going to eat you up. The world's going to have you. If you don't take authority and do what God wants you to do, amen. Mm -hmm. yeah. So quit living a defeated life. Mm -hmm. Amen. Jesus went to the cross and won it all for us. Man, that was triumphant. That was victory. Mm -hmm. So we need to do the same thing each and every day. Yes. Man, I'm not going to back off. Jesus never backed off. And he knew, right. what it, he, would, he knew what was coming. Mm -hmm. But he pressed on. And what did he tell us his church to do? Press on. Amen. Press on. We need to do the same thing. Put on that whole armor and press on. We're pressing on. Amen. We fight a spiritual battle each and every day. And we can't do it on our own. He's on our side. Yes. He's backing you. Amen. And know that you can do all these things through him. Amen. Amen. So all you have to do is make yourself available to him and know that you can do all things through Christ. And thank you to he greater is he that's in you than he that's in the world. Yeah. Amen. All the things coming against you. Greater is he that is in you. Whatever the problem is, greater is he that is in you. Amen. You got to repeat these. We got to tell yourself these things all the time. Greater is he that is in me. No matter what's coming. No matter what you're facing. Amen. You're facing different things than I am. But still, greater is he that is in you. If you're a child of God, he is greater. And know that he is there for you. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. Amen. Woo. I'm a winner. You got to tell yourself that. Write it somewhere in, in your place, mm -hmm. in your home, you know, where you can see it before you leave yes. home. Amen. Amen. I'm a winner. I'm a champion. I'm an overcomer. Yes. I can do all things through Christ all who strengthens things. me. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> I've got a couple of uh, scripture breaks I want to read to you. And uh, I was telling the church a few minutes ago, <clears throat> before y'all came, that we take all kinds of breaks, especially <laughs> coffee breaks. Work breaks, pee breaks, all kinds of breaks we take. Why not take a scripture break? Never heard of that. Well, maybe it's time you start one. 
Take a scripture break. Open your Bible. Read it. Amen. Dust it off or whatever you need to do, but Amen. find it. Dust it. And then open it and read it. First scripture break says this. My life. His life. It says his word is my life. Live in his word. And you will never have to be in the dark again. Yeah. Build your faith in the word and renew your mind and commitment daily. Mm -hmm. Commit to walk in his word. I let the word be my counsel, my shield, my buckler, my weapon in battle. I let it be a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I will never stumble or fall for my steps are ordered by his word. Amen. Amen. Your word is a solid foundation. Your word is my life and my everlasting life. Mm -hmm. Man, you can take that and know ain't nothing going to stop you. The only thing to stop you is you. Yeah. Amen. You look in the mirror, that's your biggest problem. Mm -hmm. I got to fix this problem. There's no problems on his part. <laughs> the problem is here. We got to get into the word, read it, and go into action. And, and do what he says to do. Amen. So, whoo, man, I'm excited. Let me go read to you what I wrote here. Let me see. Go like your world. Man, that's awesome. Keep going. It says, go like your world for who? For Jesus. Amen. Yes. And know that you can do all things through Christ yeah. who strengthens you. Lord, I need your strength. Yes. You know, Jesus walked the world, walked this earth. <laughs> and says, Father, I need your strength every day. We, didn't, we don't even have to go through what he went through. His was worse. Amen. These little things we have to go through as peanuts. But still, we need him. With him, yes. <laughs> I, I, th I think I've told you this before, but I have a sticker on my... Uh, on my bumper and truck uh, bumper and it says uh, it's hell without Jesus mm -hmm. it's hell out there mm -hmm. without Jesus man <laughs> I can't do nothing That's it. keep going Woo! I like this this little light of mine <laughs> I'm gonna let it shine yeah Amen. you gotta do something what am I gonna do I'm gonna let it shine mm -hmm. if it's light it's gonna shine yeah Amen. I'm <gasps> getting a little hit of myself but let me see what I wrote here go light your world Jesus is the light of this world, a lost world, a sinful world. Amen. Believers are God's instrument bringing light into a dark, sinful world. Yeah. See yourself that way. Man, you're his instrument. You're his light going into a dark world. We already know this. Yeah. So see yourself the way he sees you. Amen. Amen. You're his lighthouse. You're his light bulb going somewhere. You're his flashlight. Flash for him. Amen. Don't hide it. Or to the song say, don't hide it under a bushel. Don't hide in a crowd. But stand out for him. Says, man, let me see you shining. What is it about you? It's Jesus in me. Amen. Ooh, man. Says, this, so this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Let go, let God, and let shine for him each and every day. Amen. And you can do it. You know, hey, some people are going to be jealous. Some people are going to talk about you. But guess what? We're on this bike. And they're watching. Amen. <laughs> You see them, and you hear them, and they'll cuss you out, and they'll say what they want to say, no matter what. Well, if it shoots, in, if it pops in your head, don't mean you gotta shoot it out of your mouth. Guard your mouth. Guard your words. Amen. Guard your words, because the Bible says, "Death and life are in the power of the tongue." In the words you speak, so be careful. <coughs> Woo! Let go, let God, and let's shine for Jesus. It says shine for Jesus daily, and stay hungry for Him, and living for Him. Man. Amen. We can say amen and go home. <laughs> yeah. Shine for Jesus daily and stay hungry for him and living for him. One thing the word, one thing the military taught me was how to shine. Yeah, the, word, <laughs> the word, the word, the word says everything. The word about everything. Shine everything about me. Amen. Spiritually, <laughs> mentally, which is your mind, will, and emotions. That's your soul. And physically. Amen. And the mills are, of course, they show they shine my boots and everything that needs to be polished so that I can look sharp. Amen. And we got tested on this all the time. And it was on my evaluations all the time. Amen. So your character, your uniform, you, you got to be sharp all the time. Well, the same thing. I am a soldier in God's army. <laughs> So I got to be sharp in God's army each and every day. People are watching. You're on display. Amen. 
And you know what? I want to look sharp in my uniform, in me, my character, amen, my morals, my everything. So we need to do this. Woo, praise God. Amen. I've got some scriptures coming up for you. Keep going, coming. Oh, that's my first scripture right there. John 8, 12. I'm going to read it from King James. Let me see what this one says. It says, Then Jesus spoke to them again, saying, I am the light of the world. He who follows me shall not walk in darkness, but have the light of life. John 8, 12. That's the new King James. That's what I got. Amen. But it says, you notice that. He who follows me. Me is capitalized. Mm. We're talking about Jesus. He who follows me. Mm. Jesus is saying. Shall not walk in darkness. But have the light of life. Amen. Woo, man. Yeah. That makes me shake. That makes me feel good all over. <laughs> Mark 16, 15 says. Keep going. Girl. Let's see what else I got. Okay. Psalms 27, 1 says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is my strength and my life of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? Mm -hmm. Think about that. If you're in the flesh, you've got all kinds of things that you're fearing. Yes. But 2 Timothy 1 7 says, What? For God has not given you a spirit of fear. Fear is false evidence appearing real. Yeah. Amen. God has not given me a spirit of fear, but a power of love and of a sound mind. Okay, so we're not to walk in fear, we're to walk in faith. That's what the Bible says. I'm walking in faith and not fear. Amen? So, <clears throat> each and every day, before you step out, before you do anything, know you're in Christ and you're yes. walking in faith. Step out in faith, not in fear. <clears throat> we start... You know, our mind, the battlefield is going 100 miles, mm -hmm. and you're thinking, all these things I got to do, and you're overwhelmed, and pretty soon you're fearful and walking in fear. No, I say, get your priorities right. Jesus first, and then the rest can come, and I'm going to have peace about it. Amen. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Philippians 4.13, again, it says, I can do. You can scratch the I off and just put your name there. Jose can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. Mm -hmm. I need his strength on a daily basis. I need his strength each and every day yes. when I go out into this world. Amen. Why? Because distractions, because sin, because all kinds of things are going to try to come and stop me. The enemy is busy. Amen. Mm -hmm. He's going. To, he's jealous and he wants to see you fall. What does the enemy yeah. bring? Steal, mm -hmm. kill, kill, and destroy. destroy. Amen. Mm -hmm. But Jesus says, I come that you might have life mm -hmm. and have it more abundantly. Amen. 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 So praise God. That's King. Yeah, that was from King James. It says, the Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The, the Lord is the strength of my life. Mm -hmm. Of whom shall I be afraid? He is my strength. Amen. Each and every day. And we, we don't forget. I've got another. Keep, keep going. Let's see what else you got that's what I got, but I've got a different translation here. It says, and the, uh, and the light shineth in darkness, mm -hmm. and the darkness comprehended not. not. Mm -hmm. John 1, 5 in the easy English version says, <laughs> says light shines in dark, in the dark, and the dark cannot put it out. That's it. Amen. When you will turn that light switch on, mm -hmm. it's dark at night. But when you flip that switch, mm -hmm. you expect that the dark has to go. Yes. Amen. So when Jesus walks in, everything lights up. So as a child of God, when you walk in, mm -hmm. everything should light up. Mm -hmm. Amen. Why? Because I'm bringing the light. I'm bringing the good news. I'm bringing the light of Christ into this dark world. Mm -hmm. And you can do, you got to do your part. You got to do your share. Go into your world and you like your world daily. Not once in a while, you know, but each and every day. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. Say amen or oh me. <laughs> Jesus said that he himself was the light of the world. He shows us he is the truth. Dark means Satan, sin. Satan tries to hide the truth. God, light shines in dark places. And Satan cannot stop the light. Nothing can stop your light from shining except yourself. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're letting your fire go high, you know, 
give it more word and keep it bright. Amen. If you let it go, it'll, it can go out if you let it. Mm -hmm. But don't let it go out. Just keep putting more, feeding it more, feeding it more. Jesus says that he himself was the light of the world. Amen. So praise God. Keep going. When you see the lighthouse, that helps. It's a big help for the ships out there that are lost mm -hmm. and lost their ways. Amen. Well, we are the light for the lost people in the world. Yes. Amen. And show them the right way. This is the right way. Amen. Woo! This little light of mine. I'm going to let it shine. Keep going. <laughs> you want me to sing it to you? No. No, no. no way. <laughs> I have another one here. It says, uh, uh, Psalms 119, 105. says, The lamp, the word is, the, is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. Light unto my path. Who's going to light your path? He is the word of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. He's going to light your way wherever you happen to go. Amen. He knows. But you're going to stay focused. You're going to stay lit. Amen. Let that light shine so you don't get lost. You know, you walk away from him, you know, like that prodigal son. Your light's going to go dim. Amen. And pretty soon that world's going to have you. And it's not his fault. It's our fault. Yeah. yeah. We allowed ourselves, you know. We, we, we should have renewed our mind and got back in track. Mm -hmm. But we've fallen, you know. But it's time to get up and renew yourself. And say, Lord, ha, I've sinned against you. Repent, you know, and uh, and press on. He didn't say, well, you know, you got to sit out now. I can't use you anymore because you're in sin. Mm -hmm. No, he says, get up. Do you confess? He says he forgives and forgets. Not like the world. Not like people, you know. They hold it against you. And they keep you in bondage. Don't be a prisoner of your past. Let it go. If you've confessed it and given it to him, you're not a prisoner of the past anymore. You gotta get up and press on with the things of God. He's got great things for you. And none of them include defeat. That's it. Amen. So you just gotta press on with him. And you can do all these things through him. Woo! Hallelujah. Uh, we're gonna read that here. Um Okay, just, just leave it there. <laughs> just go into the world. Couple of popular songs we learn in children's and adults, uh, amen. And it's one of them, of course, we, we've been talking about is this little light of mine. Mm -hmm. Another one is everybody have to know who Jesus is. <laughs> How are they going to know who Jesus is? Mm -hmm. Well, it's, you have to say it, you know, because sometimes I've said it many times. You're the closest thing to the Bible, so people will be around. Go like your world. Whatever your world is, you know, uh -huh. you're the closest thing to a Bible. These people could be around. That's it. Amen. They're going to hear it. They're going to see it. And you're going to have to sh share it with them. Yes. Share it. Says this little light of mine, I'm going to let it shine. Mm -hmm. Let it shine. Says don't hide it under a bushel basket. Let it shine. That's it. Amen. Let it shine. And don't let Satan blow it out. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody blow it out. That's it. Amen. You can blow all you want to, but it ain't coming off. Mm -hmm. It's going to stay on for Jesus. Amen. Amen. I'm going to press on for Jesus. This, <clears throat> like it or not, we're on display. People are looking at us. Mm -hmm. They expect us to er, uh, uh, act a certain way. Oh, so you're a Christian. They won't say that until you fall. And if you fall, first thing they're going to say, I thought you was a Christian. Mm -hmm. I thought you was a believer. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Don't give them the opportunity to say that. That's it. Amen. Amen. Just strengthen yourself. Renew your mind and press on. Mm -hmm. Amen. They're watching. They're checking you out. Just like a job interview. Interview. You're on display. Watch your words. Guard your mouth. Remember Proverbs 8, uh, uh, 18, 21. Death and life mm -hmm. are in the power of the tongue. You know, death is first. It says mm -hmm. death and life are in the power of the tongue. Mm -hmm. Well, what do you use your tongue for? You use your tongue... To speak words. That's it. And those words are carriers of life or death. Those carriers, I mean, those words are carriers mm -hmm. of seed. Mm -hmm. And that seed of life or death. Mm -hmm. Of good or bad. Mm -hmm. Of positive or negative. That's it. So be careful, selective of the words you speak. Mm -hmm. Guard your words. Mm -hmm. Don't just throw them out. You know, Jesus, our greatest example. Mm -hmm. He guard his words. And he just didn't throw out words. Amen. So be selective. Amen. Guard your words. Guard your actions. 
imitate him. Let's go to Ephesians. <clears throat> We've read it many times, but let's read it again. <laughs> it's okay. You know, when you say, wow, I never saw it like that before. Well, you know what? Guess what? You're maturing and you're growing and you're maturing. And that's good. That's a good sign. Amen. Ephesians uh, chapter 5, verses 1 and 2. I'm going to read it to you from the Amplified. So you got King James, whatever translation you have. But I'm going to read it to you. I like to read it from the uh, Amplified. It says, Therefore, be imitators of God. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> we got imitators. We want to imitate our heroes, no. our TV heroes, our movie oh, heroes, yeah. our worldly heroes. You know, Superman, <laughs> Batman. <laughs> <laughs> but the Bible says, therefore, be imitators of God. Mm -hmm. Listen, the Amplified says this. Mm -hmm. Copy him yes. and follow his example. Amen. Amen. How are you going to know what his examples are? Well, you get in the Word and find out what the Word of God says. And then follow his examples. Amen. Amen. Don't follow him. You know, if you're watching all the TVs and movies and all that other stuff, mm -hmm. you're going to follow their example, yeah. man. I want to go buy me some pistols so I can be like <laughs> Roy Rogers, you know. Be like John Wayne. <laughs> Please don't. <laughs> be imitators of him and follow his example as well beloved children imitate their father. If you don't know this, I'll tell you, he's our heavenly father. That means we're his children. Yes. Don't go around calling yourself a sinner. Yeah. I'm sorry to hear a lot of people saying that. I'm a sinner. Well, if you're born again, don't go around calling yourself a sinner. That's it. You've asked Jesus to come into your life. Now, I'm his child. Mm -hmm. He's my heavenly father. Amen. I may sin, mm -hmm. but I can confess, and he's going to forgive and forget. Yes. So I don't go around calling myself just a sinner. That's I'm it. not a sinner. That's it. I'm a born again <clears throat> child of God. Amen. Amen. So, Remember that. Number two says, and walk in love, esteeming and delighting one another as Christ loved us and gave himself up for us, a slain offering and sacrifice of God for you <coughs> so that it became a sweet fragrance. Mm -hmm. Man, that's good. Yes. So what am I going to copy? You know, if you're not renewing your mind, if you're not studying the word, you're going to be copying worldly heroes. Instead of Bible heroes or God. Amen. So let's let's remember that. We gotta get these things. If you're not if you if you're not doing this, you're thinking the wrong things and you're gonna do the wrong things. Amen. You're gonna start magnifying the world, magnifying problems instead of magnifying him. Woo, hallelujah. Thank for us preach it. When I walk in the dark room and I flip that switch on, I expect the light to do what? Shine. Go away. Go. Where did darkness go? <laughs> all of a sudden, it's all lit up. Well, that's what happens when you walk in. Amen. Say, man, it's all of a sudden. You know what they feel? Yeah. I feel something different. It's a spiritual thing. They don't see it. They can feel it. There's something spiritual <clears throat> about this, you know? It just feels strange when you walk in mm -hmm. and everybody quiets. Why? Man, the Christian guy just walked in. <laughs> the Christian woman, you know, just walked in. They know. And sometimes they do and sometimes they don't. They just keep doing what they're doing. Because that's the world for you. Still, you got to have the full armor on. Yes. And have that protection on. Amen. Amen. So that you don't start copying them. And say, hey, won't you come join us and do what we're doing? No, thank you. <laughs> Hi. Bye. <laughs> Woo, hallelujah. Come on now. So that light's got to go. God expects the same from us. We are his flashlights, his lighthouses. We are to go like this dark world. Well, you can say this dark, sinful world. <coughs> Amen. So we're his flashlight, his lighthouse. We shine for him like stars in the universe. Shine for Jesus, amen, each and yeah. every day. Some people shine for the world, mm -hmm. you know, until it's too late. 
-hmm. Don't let it be too light for you, you know. No one to come to Christ. Light expels darkness. You are the light of the world. Yes. I'm an imitator of Christ. So I'm going to be a light of the world for, for Jesus. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Yeah. <laughs> it says, since Jesus is light of the world, those who follow him have paths illuminated. And thus, all who follow Jesus will not walk in darkness, but it will have a light, will have the light of life. Yeah. That allows those who follow Jesus to see the path that they are walking, and they will never stray from the path. Mm -hmm. You don't have to stray from the path That's unless it. you take your eyes off of Jesus. Mm -hmm. And when you disconnect yourself, amen, then the world is going to come in, mm -hmm. amen, and you're going to start speaking things that are negative and the enemy is going to hear that and he's going to come <clears throat> in and you're opening a door for him to come in. Mm -hmm. So you have to be careful not to stray away. Say, wait a minute, i got to get back on course. Mm -hmm. Amen. If you're going somewhere, <laughs> you don't take the long way around mm -hmm. say, wait a minute, how did I get this far away from where I'm going? Mm -hmm. We need to do the same thing. Our GPS is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Amen. And yes. we go out and then focus on what he wants us to do each and every day. Stay on, stay in the light, stay on track, and stay connected. Yes. We got to stay connected to our source. Amen. Amen. We got, we need, we need his power in this mm -hmm. dark world. We need his light in this dark world. And where his little flashlights going somewhere to happen. Yes. So don't let your flashlight go out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Keep them batteries charged up. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. Woo, be a spotlight for him. Mm -hmm. Amen. Some people are real good spotlights for the world. Oh boy. And you can tell. They're full of the world. They're full of the devil too. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Your light can expel the darkness. Yes. And go light your world wherever you happen to be. Mm -hmm. Share Jesus with them. Mm -hmm. And anybody that receives Jesus mm -hmm. can come out of the darkness yes, into yeah. light. Amen. Amen. We was all there once. Uh -huh. Amen. But not anymore. Yeah. And now we got to be instruments. His instruments in this, of light in this dark world. Amen. Going somewhere to happen for Jesus. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. <laughs> we see. Okay. Let me see. King James. It says, You are light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. That's Neither it. do men light a candle and put it under a bushel. But on a candlestick, and it, would, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Oh, yeah. Let your light shine. So, excuse me, let your light, let your light so shine before who? Men. Amen. That they may see mm -hmm. the good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. heaven. Amen. Hallelujah. So, well, hey, you know what? Don't hide it. Don't go around pretending. Yes. We're not to be pretenders. We're to be imitators. Yes. Amen. We're to be participators. Mm -hmm. Amen. For Him. So don't hide. <clears throat> don't hide your your life. Yes, yes. Amen. Don't hide it. And you're around people. Don't be a people pleaser. I had I had a uh, one of my uh, little scriptures here uh, the scripture breaks let me read it to you right quick it says be a god pleaser be more concerned what god thinks about you than what people think about you be a god pleaser and not a people pleaser god never told us to impress people only to love them don't confuse the command to love with a disease to please oh boy amen that's good let's remember this so don't be a people pleaser, you know. The only time we want to please people is when we're looking for uh, favor, when we're looking for promotion. Repeat and, that, and it comes more under, it comes more under uh, uh, this competitive world because mm -hmm. we're competing against each other and pushing each other down while we're on our way up. Repeat that, don't we're, we, what? Hold on. We're to be a complete... We're to complete one another, not compete with one another. Yes. Amen. People pleaser, or excuse me, God pleaser, says be more concerned with 
what God thinks about you than what people think about you. Mm -hmm. Be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. God never told you to impress people, only to love them. Don't confuse the command to love with the disease to please. Amen. Mm -hmm. Amen. <laughs> you can say amen or oh me. <laughs> amen. <laughs> amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. Where were we? It says, let your life so shine before men that they may see the good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. Matthew 5, chapter 5, verse 14 through 16. Yes. Amen. Uh, let me read it to you from the easy to read version. I like that. It says, you are a light that shines for the world to see. You are the city. You are a like a city built on a hill that cannot be hidden. People don't hide a lamp under a bowl. They put it on a lampstand. Mm -hmm. Then the light shines for everyone in the house. Yes. In the same way, you should be a light for other people. Mm -hmm. Live so that they will see the good things that you will do and praise your Father in heaven. Amen. So be a God pleaser, not a people pleaser. Amen. I know you don't. <laughs> Woo, my God. Uh, let's go to the next one. Go <laughs> Hallelujah. Okay, yeah, I like this one. It says, and he says to them, go into all the world and, and preach the gospel to who? Every creature. Man, there are a bunch of creatures out there, man. <laughs> if you open your Bibles, I like uh, uh, Mark 16. Mm -hmm. It tells us, Jesus, this is all before he was taken up. Amen. But this is before he was taken back to heaven. Yes, yes. But he tells us, he says, he, he, and he said unto them, Go ye into the world mm -hmm. and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Amen. And of course, there's more to it, but I wrote it like this somewhere. <laughs> somewhere. <laughs> Bring your light into the world mm -hmm. and be a lighthouse, be a flashlight, be a spotlight mm -hmm. for Jesus. Go into all the world and let your light shine for Jesus. That's good. Amen. Mm -hmm. Go into all the world and let your light shine for Jesus. Go ye into the world and preach the gospel. Go into the world and be a light for Jesus Amen. each and every day. Not just once in a while say, yeah, oh man, right. Christmas coming up. I got to get a light out. <laughs> no, each and every day. Let's finish the rest of it. It says, uh, verse 16 says, And he that believeth is baptized shall be saved, and he that believeth not shall be damned. Oh, 17, and, and these signs shall follow them mm -hmm. that believe. Mm -hmm. These signs this, these signs should follow them that believe. All if right. you're a believer, these signs should follow you. It doesn't say just pastors. Yes, it didn't yes. say apostles, prophets, evangelists, pastors, mm -hmm. teachers. It says, it says, these signs follow the, uh, them that believe. If you're a believer, these signs should follow you. Yes. you can, it says, uh, in my name, oh, excuse me, uh, where am I? 17. Uh, they that believe. Uh, <clears throat> and these signs should follow them that believe. In my name, they shall what? Cast out devils. Cast out devils. <laughs> It's a spiritual world. Mm -hmm. Amen. It's a spiritual world. And guess how you're going to cast out devils? Mm -hmm. With yeah. the word. Yeah. You need the word. Nothing else. Right. Hey, nothing else is going to work. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> you can shoot them. You can drug them. You can do whatever you want to. Mm -hmm. But it ain't going to work. Yeah. Only the word works. Yes. Amen. It's a spiritual world. And you need Jesus. You need the word. Yes. Amen. You need that light. You cast out devils. It wouldn't have it in the Bible if there weren't no devils out there. Yeah. <laughs> They're out there. It says, they shall speak, uh, they shall speak with new tongues. They shall uh, take, they shall take up uh, serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick and they will recover. Mm -hmm. You don't have to bring them to me, pastor, or you don't have to bring them to whoever, holy so-and-so. Mm. <laughs> You could say you can you lay hands on them. Yes. Why? Because the word of God is in you. Yes. Because the greater one is in you. Yes. And you can lay hands on them. Amen. And and they shall be healed. Amen. Mm -hmm. 
So you got to believe those things. You got to believe what you're speaking. You got to believe yes. what the Word of God says. Amen. Yes. Woo, hallelujah. I make myself <clears throat> happy. I push myself happy. <laughs> Keep going. Oh my God. Help me now. <laughs> well, this is the whole thing all over again. It says, and he said unto them, Go ye into all the world and preach the gospel to every creature. Mm -hmm. I just, I just, I just made it go into all the world and be the light of the world mm -hmm. for, for Jesus. Amen. Be the light for them. Wherever your world happens to be. Yes. yes. Wherever you happen to be at, right. wherever God has placed you, mm -hmm. that's your world. Yes. Amen. So you don't have to be all overseas or somewhere. Amen. Or another country or whatever. Your world is your area right here. where you live, right here on earth. Amen. Mm -hmm. That's your area. <laughs> Keep on. Hallelujah. <laughs> <laughs> All these gospels basically saying uh, the same thing. Mm -hmm. Amen. This one, oh, Luke, Luke uh, 11, 33 mm -hmm. and uh, 30 through 36. This is a light of mine. It says, let me read it from, from here in New King James. No one, when he has lit a lamp, puts it in a secret place or under a, a basket, but on a lampstand, that those who come in and see the light. Mm -hmm. Says the lamp of the body is the eye. Therefore, when your eye is good, your whole body is full of light. Yes. But when your eye is bad, your whole body also is full of dark mm -hmm. darkness. Therefore, take heed. Uh, that the light which is in you is not darkness. If your whole body is full of light, mm -hmm. having no part of darkness, the whole body will be full of lights, light, mm -hmm. as when the bright shining of a lamp gives your <coughs> light. Amen. Mm -hmm. The greater one is going to show through you. The light is going to shine bright mm -hmm. through you. Amen. So, Amen. and God has no favorites. All of us are His favorite. Amen. Yes. Not just one individual. Each and every one of us. He's looking yeah. all over to see who we can find. Mm -hmm. A faithful one. Mm -hmm. Are you that faithful one? Mm -hmm. All you have to do is step out. Amen. Mm -hmm. Greater is he that's in me. Yeah. And I'm going to step out each and every day. Mm -hmm. Lord, I'm doing this unto you. Amen. And step out and let your life shine for Jesus. Amen. I'm going to let it shine. Amen. Praise God. Keep going. Philippians 2, 14 and 16 says... Do all things without complaining and disputing, oh, that you may become blameless and harmless. Children of God without fault in the midst of a crooked and perverse generation, mm -hmm. among whom you shine as light of the world. Remember, you're on this planet. People are yes. watching. Amen. Amen. So watch your words, watch your actions, and shine for Jesus. Amen. Mm -hmm. Because do everything without... Uh, complaining and disputing right. and you know what you get around people and that's all you're going to hear mm -hmm. and you if you come and you gripe with them guess what <laughs> somebody will top you oh gosh <laughs> they got bigger Lord problems Lord than you Lord do Lord so Lord. don't even say it if you got problems you go to him mm -hmm. you don't have to go to the world yes. you go to him and you bring it before him mm -hmm. nobody needs to know that mm -hmm. man they're just going to add to it oh. amen they, it's just going to make it grow <laughs> <laughs> but you give it to him you know when I take all my trash to the dumpster I leave it there I don't bring it back <laughs> so when you take all your trash to him leave it there mm -hmm. amen and come you know he wants you to press on mm -hmm. and keep going don't stop yes. it's time to press on mm -hmm. amen leave it there forgive forget and press on with Jesus amen, amen. keep going so shine I let your light shine for, for Jesus amen yes this lamp, this word, what's it say? Thy word is a lamp unto my feet mm -hmm. and a light unto my path. Mm -hmm. I'm going to let his word light my yes. path. Amen. <clears throat> He's got you going somewhere. He's got you going in the right way. So keep going in the right way for Jesus. Amen. Woo. Hallelujah. And in closing, amen. and everybody say amen. amen. That's the first time somebody you spoke. Yes. <laughs> amen. Somebody I over there saying this. <laughs> <laughs> So, listen, watch your words, watch your action. It only takes a spark to get a fire going. That's it. Amen. Don't let your fire go out. Okay. And bring that spark to somebody else. Okay. Bring that light to somebody else. Amen. Pass on your light to somebody else. Yes, yes. You know, share Jesus with somebody else. Amen. Amen. They need Jesus. Amen. There's hell out there without Jesus. 
Yes, and you know what? You're bringing that light. And you're bringing him. You're bringing Jesus to them. Amen. Amen. Daniel uh, 23, uh, excuse me, 12 and 13 says this in the NIV. Those who are wise will shine like the bright of the brightness of, of heavens. And those who lead may be righteousness like the stars are forever and ever. So, in closing, Amen. don't be a dim bulb <laughs> or a dim light for Jesus. Let you, <laughs> let you light shine for Jesus, okay? Mm -hmm. Says, this little light of mine, mm -hmm. I'm going to let it shine. Mm -hmm. Amen? So you got to switch. You got to keep that switch on. Yes. Amen? And, and keep it going. Don't let it go out. Amen? <laughs> Stay charged up. Shining bright for Jesus. Let your light shine for Jesus Amen. daily. Amen. Woo! Did you get something? Yes. Praise God. Who said no? <laughs> <laughs> Hallelujah. Amen. And those of you that are watching, those of you listening. Amen. Stop running. It's time to come to him and be a light for Jesus. Amen. He Amen. wants to use you. He wants you to be that lighthouse for somebody. Amen. There's a lost world out there. Man, there's lost ships everywhere. There's lost people everywhere. Yes. And you be that lighthouse drawing them in to Jesus. Yeah. Amen. And you can do it. Amen. Because Bible says you can do all things through Christ. So get yourself to a Bible-based church and start uh, learning and start reading and meditating and learning what the Word of God wants you to do. Amen. And start shining for Him each and every day. Amen. All you have to do is, is, is say, Lord, I've sinned against you. Come in my life. Be my Lord and Savior. That's all it takes. Man, we're just turning from darkness and turning to light. Amen. Amen. So, just remember that. You have sickness in your body. All you have to do is say, by Jesus Christ, I'm healed. And confess the Word. It's going to bring light into Amen. that sickness. It's got sickness is darkness. Sickness has to go in Jesus' name. No malfunctions in their bodies, Lord. Thank you that by Jesus Christ, they are healed mm -hmm. and made whole and restored in Jesus' name. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Time to give. <coughs> you can go to the website. It should be on the screen. It says NBCBigBen.com. Just hit that donate button. And uh, if you're mailing it, NBC PO Box 252 Marfa, Texas 79843. And cash out at New Beginnings Church of the Big Band. God loves you, and we love you. So go and be a shining star for Jesus. Amen. God bless you.